from all around you long. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. We're the best. Good morning and welcome to the GDFL Netball Show for round nine. Gee, halfway through the season, guys, so that, that's amazing. Um, my name's Maj Anderton. On joining me on the panel this morning again, we have Heidi Shaw from Bannockburn filling in for Fiona. Good morning, Heidi. Good morning, Madge. How are you? Good, thank you. How's things at Bannockburn? Um, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll chat yeah, about that a bit we will, yeah. further. Yes. Um, and also joining us this morning, we have Donna Francesi from Anarchy. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Lovely Mitch. to see you as usual. Thank you. Yep. How are you? Absolutely fantastic, thank you. Yep. Things at Anarchy? Yeah, good. We had a good game on set day. It was Great. very good. Great. Yep. So we'll chat about um, that very soon. We We've got some games to um, go through from the weekend. So we'll chat about that now. The first one we'll talk about, ladies, this morning is Inverley uh, defeated Bannockburn, 43-33. So 10 goals. Uh, so I guess the best one that can talk about that is the coach of Bannockburn, who's right here with us. So Heidi, what's your thoughts on that one? Tell um, us what happened. So it was a, we probably got off to a slow start. Um, yeah. Yeah, we were nine goals down by the end of the first quarter, and mm -hmm. then so ultimately we lost by one, um, lost by ten. So that was only an extra sort of one goal yeah. over the next three quarters. So yeah, nine goals uh, the first quarter. What happened there? I thought you would have really. I, I think I tipped you guys. Mm -hmm. I thought you really would have, you know, held up to them and given them a run. Yeah, we're disappointed with the game. Are you? Yeah, we mm. are. We did think that it would be a lot closer. Mm. Um, so. Yeah, we've just got more things to work on. Yeah, because I, um, I was surprised at the 10 mm -hmm. goals, I must admit, when yeah. the stats came in on um, Saturday evening and I looked at that and thought, wow, 10 goals. Mm, didn't expect we, that. We were talking earlier, um, Heidi, about our goalers and, and stuff like that. Um, and in saying that, Carly Hasty obviously shot really accurately. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that would be your letdown, your go the way in, in which your goal is approached, or do you think that they were just unfortunate not to get their goals in? It was, a, it was a windy day, so it was a windy day. Yeah, right. so it was um, maybe that played a part, but I suppose other people, we just don't have that height to get mm. the rebound, so yeah. that's the disadvantage that we have up both ends, even if there is. Um, I don't Correct. think Inverley probably shot that accurately either, yeah. but they got their rebounds because just the height um, at the Made moment the is really does make the difference in both ends for us. Yeah, and you're right, and it's, it's also the rebounds and things from that, that's from right. the missed goals that really, and when you've got the bigger defenders against you, mm. it is harder for you to absolutely get the ball when, when they just put their hand up, bang, got it, and then they pass it yeah. off. So, yeah. And, they, and in saying that, they're a good team. They do, they, they are apply they pressure are. all the way down the court. Every, their player is straight on your tail if you do make a mistake or if they you do have are. a drop ball. So I give credit to them that they mm, are actually yep. a good team and defensively they put yep. a lot of pressure and they do cause the turnovers mm. as well. And so Heidi, in saying that, didn't you do that? Didn't your team do that? Weren't they there for the, the mistakes that Inverley made? I'm sure they made some, everyone does. Mm -hmm. Weren't you there to, to do that? Is that something you'd like to work on? That is something that we'd like to work on. Probably yep. our, our defensive and not letting them run where they want it and following them. It's pushing them to where Mm. We know where they want to run, as well, in, in, a possession, in a position, so mm. trying to keep them away and making it hard for them to get to where they want to go. And, it, and yeah. it's actually the discipline of it all, isn't it, really, yes. Heidi, where, you know, um, chase the ball, keep onto the ball, and, you know, on, on the off chance that it does get spilled, bang, you're there. That's right. You know, so it's a case of following that ball through and, and really getting onto the ball. Mm -hmm. so, Donna, that's yeah. so correct, because um, I've attended some training sessions recently with some clubs, and, look, it is about the ball drops, and you go and dumb yeah. or chase it. You don't let it go. If you drop the ball or anyone else drops the ball, be there to chase it. You've got to, you've got to be hungry and angry for that ball. Yeah. And I think, yeah. you know, I did a training session just recently uh, with Stuffa, the trainer from, I think he does Geelong Football Club, and he was fantastic. And he said he's trained the Vixen girls. And they want that ball no matter what. They don't care about anything else except the ball. Yeah. Everybody's got to do that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You've you're got right. to be hungry for that ball. So, yeah. But anyway... Bad luck on that one. Yes. Bad luck on the next this mm -hmm. week. Uh, next one was East Geelong 55 defeated North Geelong 36. Ladies, I was a bit surprised at the yes. score there. I thought it would have been a bit closer. I was shocked. Were I, you? I re yeah, yeah, I was, especially the 19 goal difference. Mm. I did not expect that. Um, I think I tipped North Geelong um, mm. last week in mm. saying that, but the 19 goals threw me. It really it threw did. me. Yeah. yeah. Heidi, were you shocked at that one? By the amount, by the 19, I thought yeah. it might be closer, but I did think that East North, would win. Uh, that East, yeah, were a bit stronger. Yeah, East, uh, and now so they've moved up into third position. So well done, um, East Geelong. Mm. So yes, next one we have is Werribee Central's 48 defeated Bellpost Hill 40. 
Um, I can probably speak a bit yes. about that one. I umpired that one. And look, it was a tremendous game, absolutely um, to credit to both teams. However, um, Werribee, I was disappointed in their undisciplined. They were very undisciplined on Saturday. Lots of contacts. Um, Bellpost Hill, were, they were level right up until the last um, quarter. But Werribee just contacted and contacted and contacted and actually there were three uh, warnings from that game. So the undisciplined stuff that they had at the start of the season seemed to have gone on yeah. Saturday. Speaking with Terry after the game, Terry Corey from Belpost Hill, he said that's what they do against them all the time. They become undisciplined until the umpires step in. Mm -hmm. um, Would that be because mm. of the standard of what... Um, Bellpost Hill play them at? Like, mm -hmm. imagine, would they get yep. frustrated in that kind of thing and therefore drop the, the whole discipline thing and become unruly? Mm. Like, what would it be? I can't say that would be the case, Donna, because they weren't, to their credit, they never got rattled at all the whole time. They were so, you know, focused and strong and they knew what they had to do. They had Olivia Mitchell playing in goal defence, uh, first game, uh, I believe, she's not with Hume anymore. Uh, she was very undisciplined. She was, really? she, I think I had her out of play and so did the other umpire more than she was in play. She just did not stop contacting and, and some instructions. So, yeah, I'm surprised that um, they got away with the eight goal win on, mm. on the, so many infringements. So that shows how good they are. Maybe they think that that's how they have to play to beat Belpost Hill. Absolutely, and Terry did say that. That's how they seem to always play um, when they play them. But, um, you know... We're, we'll be on to all that sort how of stuff. How did they go against Kim Martin? Like, how did that... She... 33 goals on Saturday mm -hmm. for Kim, she and did. she's nearing her 400 goal mark for the She season. is. Well done. 396 yeah, absolutely. goals. So well done, um, Kim Martin. Averaging 49, I think, a game. Yep. H did they stop her? How did they yeah, stop her? She was well put out, yeah. She... she um, they did stop her, yeah. And, th and that was probably their main target, was to make sure that they stopped her, because um, once she gets oh, going, absolutely. as you know... Oh, absolutely. And we know that. We do know that. Once yeah. she rolls, that's it. Yeah, so look, that was eight goals. But Belpo still, to their credit, they stayed strong, they stayed disciplined the whole time, and they got lots of contacts against them, and lots of hard contacts. Um, so. Belpo still well done. I yeah, was well really done. proud of uh, proud of them. Next one we've got is Belmont Lions, 53, defeated Thompson, 34. So we'll just quickly um, talk about that because we've got next segment Grant uh, from Thompson, the coach, coming on. So we'll probably chat about that one yep, um, later next. On. So um, probably I was a bit surprised at the blowout there too. Winchell C, 68, defeated Carayo, 28, 40 mm. goals. Wow. Another big one. But Another big probably one. Probably not, you know, probably expected. Mm, yeah. You know, um, Cryo didn't have um, Brooke Malier in, which I said is a tremendous player. I don't know why. Um, Winchell C just, yeah, they... Dominated. Uh, domin so strong. I mm. yep. don't know who's going to stop them. <laughs> Better man than me, Gunga Dean, to yeah. stop them. Uh, last one, Geelong West 35, defeated Anarchy 28. That was yep. great score, Donna. You'd be mm. happy with it that. It was. It was a great game by the girls. Um, very physical. Mm -hmm. Very physical game. Um, and in saying that, um, the girls have to be congratulated. We were up yep. all the way, right through the last quarter. Well done. Um, to about seven minutes, and then we dropped it, whether it was frustration or not with Tiredness. umpire or whatever, absolutely. Yep. But congratulations to the Anna girls and of course congratulations to West too. Yep. Just saying on that, you can't get frustrated with the umpires. No. If you're going to have a final and you're going to win a final, you can't get frustrated with the umpires. But, yep. um, but great, well done Anarchy. Uh, we'll take a break and we'll be back to talk to Grant from Thompson very soon. Yeah, the